my gosh. So, uh, I am off to Bell Chase, Louisiana, which is just like a suburb of uh, New Orleans. And uh, go down there and get unloaded. But today I want to talk about the sh shop that I'm in process of uh, uh, going to be building. Uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully by summer next year into summer, uh, depending on the budget and you know the what the sh what's the shop's going to cost. Because I'm going to add, be adding two bay doors. I was, well, I've got a price at three bay door on a uh, 60 by 40 by 12 with three bay doors and then a uh, 100 by 40 by 12 still with the three, three bay doors. And then the new, new dimensions. I've cut it the width uh, down to 30 foot, so a 60 by 30 by 12 and a 100 by a 30 by 12, and basically got rid of the third door because now I have found something that is actually going to be working a little bit easier for me because I wanted to put a a two post car lift in there but the biggest problem uh, I've been coming up with I've got to make make it higher to put the lift that I want uh, but if later on down the road I could add another bay at the end of the the shop and put a four post or a uh, a two post all i have to do is raise the uh roof up another foot two foot to do that that single bay if i decide to put that that bay in there at a later time and make it maybe a, a 15 by 30 shop bay with 14 foot walls that'll give me uh plenty of space to lift lift the truck up now the the po the two post i'll be getting is a uh, portable and i'll be able to move it out of the way if i need to bring more vehicles in or something that sets off the, to the side and i could just unbolt it from the floor and just put it on the side of the building or well, side, side walls have a special spot for it because everything in this this new two post lift it's not going to lift it very high I, I won't be able to stand underneath it but i still will have plenty of clearance to maybe sit in a chair and uh and not have to lay on my back all the time uh, undoing bolts or whatever project that we have and then if we get you know on this channel we get more subscribers and more revenue off of sponsors and stuff like that I'll, I'll be able to go in later on and and build that pad um the the building will be turnkey so i'll have about 20 power plugins throughout the uh, uh the building i'll be setting up at least the garage door part of it with the automatic garage door opener uh i don't know if i'll go with a key fab type deal or just get out go inside the shop push a button and raise the door i like both of them that way uh i like both concepts but it's whatever is going to be cheaper in the long run because i might be on a budget the biggest budget right now I've got to worry about, and I still got to get a, a, in contact with people, is uh, the uh, <clears throat> demolition of the house. 
because there's like a little bitty two or three bedroom house that's still on the property plus uh, three out outside buildings. And I'm going to try to save some of that wood on some of the buildings for another future project. Now the shop will have at least running water and a toilet. Uh, electric run into it for sure. Um, I'll, I'll still be able to probably build a small studio office slash YouTube type deal. Uh, in, in the uh, shop because our house, we got future plans for that too. Uh, basically taking our bedroom and, and, and making it bigger. Uh, right now it's a small three bedroom house. We'll probably turn into a small two bedroom with a big ma master bedroom uh, because our, our um, dressers are in another room it's actually in the computer room so if we got to go get clothes out of that out of our dressers we got to go you know it, it just walk around the corner through two doors and we're right there i kind of want to eliminate that and, and be in a little bit bigger room and not be closed up because i'm you know i'm in this truck down there 24 7 so and then the shop, you know, we've got, we'll have our projects. Uh, I don't know what my son's going to call his <coughs> his truck project yet. We got it pretty narrowed down to his truck now. The truck that I wanted, it was sold. Um, so right now I'm looking for a, you know my chase. Uh, personal personal truck now I can pay the truck off in, in a, a few months and go pay cash for a brand new truck I'm not gonna do that I'll, I'm just gonna go get a used truck and build it to, to to my needs and not it'll be cheaper and I'll be able to have a vehicle I can actually work on because I've got the lift uh, I've got you know I'll buy air compressor probably possibly find a used tire machine so we fix tires or or whatnot so you know we'll we'll have to see when that comes it is foggy out here uh, i don't know if the, in the video you see it or not but I want to head down here in New Orleans and play in the fog a little bit. If you're new to the channel, hit like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you get all them notifications. That when we do a live video, live morning chat, or uh, stuff like this, uh, I've got some other videos in queue. Actually, I've got to finish editing. Uh, next break, I've got. And uh, hit, like I say, hit that like button, comment down below. If you got any questions or anything, uh, make sure you follow me on Instagram at djbandit42 or Snapchat, djbandit42. Uh, you can find me over there and, and TikTok. Uh, one account's djbandit42 and the other one's djbandit42k. And the K stands for kryptonite. So that's uh, them two accounts. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna get off here, pay attention to the road. And uh, we'll talk to y'all later. Y'all be careful. Y'all be safe.